I feel like I have so many empties this month. It's like kind of alarming. Clothes top tray. A whole new world of skin. Okay, here we are. We're back with another empties, products reviews. I love these videos. I feel like they're coming back. I have a sense of a reincarnation of empties videos, but if not, I don't care. <laughs> like, y'all still like them, y'all still watch them, and I love to save my trash and talk about it. Kinda weird, but whatever. Okay, so let's dive in. I'm gonna go in no particular order, we're just gonna grab and go and throw. Um, so y'all know I'm, I'm a lotion connoisseur. I love trying different lotions. I love figuring out have I actually found the best. Y'all know I'm a ride or die, Naturium body lotion girl ever since I tried it, but I still am finishing up some ones that I have because every time I see a new one, I always buy it. I don't know. I'm just on the quest, continually finding it. If Naturium carries it in Target 24 seven, I'll never go any further, but right now they don't sell it in store, my store anyways, but I tried out this guy. This guy I've had for a while, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, I liked it. I don't think it's non-greasy though. I find this to be slightly greasy, pretty heavy for me, but it's nice. I like Vaseline body lotions, they good. Um, it smells so good. There's something so comforting about cocoa butter. This is the Cocoa Radiant Pure Cocoa Butter. Yeah, it is not weightless. It is not and feels like nothing sort of lotion. This is like a thicker lotion in my opinion. It does soak in the skin really well, um, but I would not use this as a daytime moisturizer. But I did like it. Would I buy it again? Maybe, yeah, maybe, I might. But for right now, I'm addicted, full on addicted to my, tutori my Naturium one. Um, I love a good bath. I don't know. I remember when I lived in California I didn't have a bath and it had been the first time I didn't have a bath since ever. I think every single one of my apartments has had a bath, except that one. Does anyone remember when I lived in that Florida um, townhome condo thing? It wasn't a townhome, it was a condo. Um, and it had the bath inside the shower. <laughs> Do y'all remember that? It was such a weird design. Not in like a, a cute way, it was in like a, they built the shower after. I don't know, it was interesting. I loved the layout of that place, but interesting. Anywho, um, I didn't have a bathtub when I lived in California for that year, and it was the worst year of my life. I would always purposefully pick hotels that have bathtubs and bring bath stuff with me so I could enjoy a bath. Um, now I don't have that need because I have a bathtub, but um, I love baths. It's my favorite way to like unwind if I'm feeling really stressed or I've just had a really long week or I just need to chill or I'm achy, whatever it is. My bath is my go-to. It really truly is just amazing. And I love bath salts. Yes, for my bath. These are Epsom salts. I have found that like, it doesn't matter if you buy really expensive bath salts, you need a lot of them. You need like two cups per bath. Um, so I just go with Target up and up or um, Amazon does some really good bath salts like their Amazon Basics line. I really liked this one though. This is the Epsom salt for soaking invigorating Himalayan sea salt. So this is compared to the Dr. Teal's. Um, I loved the way this smelled, I love the way it feels, it's great. Like I said, you need a lot to buy like a cheaper-ish salt bath in my opinion for like those everyday salts. Now if you have like serious um, reasons for taking Epsom salts, like detox, whatever that is, then maybe invest in a higher one. But if you're just looking to like kind of amp up your bath routine, these are my faves. And I like the eucalyptus, but I really did like that pink one and I would definitely buy that again. I swear, I have gone through probably 50 of these, it's more now since living with Scott. But these are the Dove Dermacare Scalp Coconut and Hydration Dove or Dandruff Shampoo. I have zero dandruff now that I have like continually used this in rotation and also just washed my hair more. If you're dealing with scalp issues and you don't wash your hair um, very often, just try adding one more wash into your wig, I swear a lot of it'll go away. Like I'm serious. I used to deal with so much psoriasis. Like I literally had psoriasis on my scalp. Um, and I just started washing my hair more often. 
wild I know um, but anyway this stuff really keeps my scalp at bay I really do um a similar to my face I do a double like cleanse double shampoo of my hair because the first time I use shampoo in my hair I feel like it doesn't soap up as much it doesn't suds up enough and it doesn't clean enough it just kind of gets rid of that like base like product and oil and then the second one I feel like lathers so much more I don't know so I always do a double. I do a double. I wash my hair every like three days or so. Um, and this is always my first shampoo and Scott loves it as well. It's a good dandruff shampoo because it keeps, you know, it helps the scalp, but it doesn't dry out your hair. So love this and I will never stop repurchasing it. But seriously, this scent, the, or this, yeah, the scent, coconut and hydration is the only one that works. I've tried all of the other ones. That's my only one. Um, this guy, this is the Dove Body Concentrate um, Add Water, the Shea and Warm Vanilla um, scent. And I really like this. I got suckered into buying that Dove refillable thing. And then I realized that it really wasn't that great of a price. And I was kind of annoyed that I felt like I kind of got greenwashed into this whole Dove situation. I was trying to conserve more plastic bottles. Um, and you know i just feel like dove really didn't pass the savings on to their consumers they probably just pocketed them um because they don't have to ship giant soap bottles they get to ship this which is so much more convenient so i felt like i should be paying less in theory but that just wasn't happening so i was kind of annoyed with it um if these go on sale i will rebuy them i do like this one for sp sp bleh, specifically for shaving and stuff um so i like this for shaving I like the Naturium Glow Getter. I believe it's like the oil, I don't know what it's called Glow Getter. It's like the oil to foam body wash. I prefer that as an everyday body wash. Um, I think it's just more gentle. It still is effective. It gets all the, you know, gunk off, um, but it's not as stripping. I do love this scent. I do love this consistency, the best of any of them. And I still do have an active one in my shower now, and I'm pretty sure I have one more of these. Um, I just feel like they're okay but again i like to use them for shaving so i like it i don't use it as much now that i have the notarium one though to be honest with you so it's good if you have one of these you even tried that scent that scent is the best um but come on dub do better in my opinion that's my thoughts but anyway um i finished up another degree deodorant i always find this weird like why do you care what deodorant i use but maybe you do Maybe you're looking for a good deodorant, a new one. Um, this is my favorite. I've used it nonstop for years. The Degree Ultra Clear Black and White Pure Clean. It still leaves white marks. I don't know what the heck this is talking about, um, but it works. It works and gets rid of my stench. I cannot use like, I have to use an antiperspirant or I just stink. I can't just use a deodorant. Mm -mm. Nope, no. Nope. I feel like, why did I call it a deodorant? It's not a deodorant, it's an antiperspirant. But it's also a deodorant, it's both. Um, but yeah, I have to use both or else your girl is stinky. Um, this guy is like my go-to. I've been purchasing this since I was in college. Um, the Tree Hut, maybe even before college, maybe when I was still in high school. The Tree Hut Tropical Glow or Tropic Glow Firming Sugar Scrub. Not really much firming about this. I don't think a scrub can firm you. Maybe it's an illusion. Um, the smell of this is very similar to the Sol de Janeiro um, Bum Bum Cream, their original scent. It's amazing. The oh, hair in my mouth. The level of scrub that this provides you, it gives you like new skin. It removes every like bit of grime and like dead skin cells and everything. Use this before you shave and uh, if you self tan too, that's when I reused up the rest of this because I self tan before our vacation. This stuff is good. I always have one of these. I just don't use them as much as I used to. Um, I prefer like a like a um what am I gonna say like a exfoliating mitt um for like not every day but weekly use and then I will do this when I get in the bath and I have time to like let it soak and then scrub this off this gives you like a whole new world of skin because this is intense I don't think you should use this regularly but it's everything and then some so if you're looking for a really good cheap but get her done sort of product that is it if you have blonde hair and you have not taken my advice on this, I feel like I've talked about this product a gajillion times and it sounds like, you know, they like pay my mortgage, but they don't. I wish they did. Um, the Bold Unique Purple Hair Mask. I just did it to my hair the other night and I have a little bit of purple down there. This stuff is 
freaking so good. If you are a blonde and you get your hair color treated, or even if you don't get your hair color treated, um, if you're just like a blonde and you tend to pull more brassy and you want more of a brightened blonde look that you get after you get toned at the salon, this is like going to the salon and getting toner put on your hair. And it conditions and makes your hair so soft and healthy. I'm I'm obsessed with this product. I'm so mad that I did not try this earlier. Um, I was like kind of scarred from purple conditioner. I felt like it left just like this product buildup in my hair. And this essentially does too. It's depositing color on your hair, but it doesn't feel like it deposits color in your hair. Like after I blow dry my hair, I know if a product left or if something left product in my hair because I can feel it on my hands after I blow dry it. I'm that like neurotic about stuff in my hair. I hate it. Um, this stuff doesn't do that. It is literally my favorite purple mask of life. I already bought another one. I mean, you can't see, there you go. Um, a little bit goes a long way. I highly recommend doing it only, it says three to five minutes, only do it for three to five minutes at first and then like build up because unless you have time to rewash it out before I went to Mexico, the, I think it was the night before I went to Mexico or maybe it was the day, two days before, whatever. I left this in for about like 10 minutes and y'all my hair was straight up purple but I washed it out like right after like I jumped back in the shower after I blow dried it and rewashed it and it went it diminished that's what they say on the thing like just rewash it if you went overboard so start like small and then work your way up and really focus on where you want the orange to be diminished like these pieces pull really easy for me um and so do these pieces underneath for some weird reason this pulls so much easier whereas this side doesn't pull as easy um and my back in this part doesn't pull as easy so i really need to focus it on that i just do it in the shower i have like a little mirror in my shower like a sticky it's for scotch shaving and I just kind of watch it and then I don't put it on my ends or else they would be purple I just mix regular um like conditioner with that I'm going to do a whole little not a whole little bit I'm going to do a mini like one of those YouTube shorts with this product so I can show you like how it works and how amazing it is my obsession is so real okay next product is just an empty wrapper of the Dr. Bronner's all one hemp peppermint pure castile soap bar bar soap whatever this stuff is awesome i use this to clean my beauty blender my regular brushes it's not stripping it really gets all the gunk out of it i use it every day it is like a quarter maybe even less than the price of the beauty blender sponge this stuff's so good use it to clean your makeup brushes it's like hydrating enough because it has oils in it but it gets everything clean because it's a soap um speaking of beauty blender this is my beauty blender a little dupe um set from Amazon. I pretty much toss these every like month, month and a half. Uh, I feel like every month because I'm always talking about removing one, but especially if I travel, I will just kind of re get them. They're just so cheap. A pack of five is like $5 if you on sale on Amazon. So it's like, I'd rather do that than like keep bacteria all junked up. But these are like literally the same thing. If you're still buying a beauty wonder sponge, I don't know how they're still in business. They can't be, they can't be. Okay, next thing I have decided to part with is my Tarte Shape Tape. So there's two things. This isn't fully gone. I don't use this anymore, um, and I think it may have gone off a little bit. I wasn't using it because I felt like it was too dry, or no. I wasn't using it because I was getting too light in the winter time. Last winter, I've had this for longer than I want to admit, um, because like, I mean, the lid's gone. Normally, I used to finish these very quickly. Um, but then I wasn't using it as much because I wasn't as tan and I wasn't self tanning. So this color didn't fit me anymore. And then I felt like it just kind of sat and I think it dried out and then the formula kind of changed and I felt like it was dry. So I don't know if I feel like the formula is dry, as dry as it, as I thought it was, or else more of that, the product has gone off. So I do really like this product. Um, I've switched to the Kosas concealer. I like that one a lot. Um, this obviously you get way more product and it lasts a whole lot longer than the Kosas one but I just need to find my perfect shade in this because the medium sand is just not it anymore. I used to use this as kind of like a concealer foundation vibe like it would cover everything and it blended so nicely on me and didn't look dry but now it does. So yeah I don't know. I liked this for covering blemishes. This is like it does it all, but the formula went off. So I do actually have another one, I think. I feel like I do. Maybe I already put it in my, oh no. 
I do. I have another one. So maybe I can try that out and see if it's the formula or if it's just that one went off and that's why I don't like it anymore. But anyhow, okay, this <sighs> didn't work for me. I used the entire, I think I have like a little bit left to have realized that it was not working for my skin. And there's a couple of things. So um, when I moved to Chicago, I was using the Kiehl's Ultra, Calendula Ultra Face Wash, whatever. Calendula Face Wash, okay? And I stopped using that and I moved here and I just stopped using it. And I thought my skin was going through it because of the weather change, the climate, the stress, all of those things. I changed back all my other products. I never once thought that my cleanser could be breaking me out. I will say it's not just this cleanser because I bought this cleanser a couple months ago um, and I've lived in Chicago for gosh, like eight months now, nine months, um, eight months, right? I don't know. Anyway, I've used it, I've lived here longer. So needless to say, this didn't break me out, but it was breaking me out. I don't, that sounds terrible. It doesn't make sense. Basically anything but the Kiehl's Calendula Cleanser what breaks me out. So I already have pretty acne prone skin. I dealt with acne on my skin forever. Um, and then I started using the Kiehl's Calendula Cleanser. I don't think that saved my skin, to be honest with you. It didn't like miraculously make my acne go away. Um, pregnancy did <laughs> and that hormone change. But then I also realized that this just wasn't getting off all of the gunk. That stuff was getting off all of the gunk. If I was using a sensitive face wash, any sensitive face wash, or an acne fighting face wash, it wasn't cleansing me enough. I needed an oily, like a oil, not an oil. Um, I still use an oil cleanser, but I needed something that was geared more towards oily skin because I have oily skin, even though I don't, I have dry oily skin. I don't. How does that make sense? I don't know, okay? But all I'm saying is the minute I switched to that, I stopped breaking out. I let this go. I don't think this is necessarily the problem. I just feel like if you're using this and it's working for you, great. For me, it just, it didn't. It broke me out or it just didn't stop me from breaking out, basically. <laughs> That's all I can say is that especially the places where I left this maybe on my skin a little bit, like in this area and this, I'm breaking out now because I, I just was on vacation and reapplying sunscreen a million times um, and not washing it off properly. Not washing off your makeup is so bad, bad problem. Um, these areas is where, and then down on my chest, like anything around here in my hairline and then on these cheeks, I felt like I just wasn't rinsing off the product well enough. So then I switched to rinsing it off, but I still felt like I was still having issues with it. And that is why I let that guy go. But the Kiehl's is my ride or die, it's so good. Okay. Moving along, um, I finished up this Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Whipped Cream. I like this. I feel like it's a perfectly great moisturizer. I like the pump. Um, I don't think I'll repurchase this, honestly. I don't think it's anything that special for the price, but it's good. It's not a bad product. Um, it doesn't break me out or anything. I just don't think it's that great for the price. What I do think is that great for the price is the Belief True Cream Aqua Bomb. I've gone through probably four of these since I've lived in Illinois. Um, I re-brought this back into my life because I felt like my skin was really dehydrated. Um, and this stuff just really hydrates my skin. I love the way this feels under makeup. I love the way this feels layered under a more thick, rich cream at nighttime. For the price, I think it's really great. I currently did not repurchase this. Um, I repurchased the um, Ultra Repair Cream from Kiehl's and it's the same price point, I wanna say. And it actually, you get more product in there than you do with this. So it's a little bit better of a value, but it's a little bit thicker. It's not a gel moisturizer, so I figured it'd be better for these winter months, but I do love this and I would, I would repurchase a hundred times. I have a razor head. Just to tell you that the Harry's razor is my favorite razor gone through so many of these heads it's my favorite and yeah I wanted to tell you this ugh, I hated this um it leaked first of all but not even that it's the Sebastian's reshaper um hairspray I did not like this everything about it I hated it so didn't get that um this guy I didn't quite finish it there's still some product left in it but it's definitely expired so I didn't want to put it on my face it's the tan Lux the face illuminating self tan drops in medium dark. I repurchased these in light to medium. I haven't used them because I find that if you have hyperpigmentation from um, 
post acne like breakouts whatever uh this can stick and also tan that area more so i don't use this if i'm breaking out i only use it when i have like a clear complexion um and i was getting a clear complexion until i went to mexico so i will be recirculating this back into my life the isle of paradise i love those drops but i can't use them on my face they're just not they clog they don't necessarily break me out but they make my pores look darker and like black headier i don't know how to explain it so i do think this is worth it it's pricey but i think it's worth it and a little bit goes a long way and then last but not least i uh tore this apart to get every last drop it's the dr jart ceramidin i already have like three of these on backup favorite hydrating thick creamy butter for your face ever and if you don't rip apart your product you don't love it that much to get every last drop out of it even though i have more i will always even even if i'm a gajillionaire i will always cut my products open this is my favorite face moisturizer that's it those are all the random beauty products that i finished up over this past month i hope you guys enjoy watching these still i absolutely love reviewing and talking about products with so much on the market i think it's really important to kind of talk through and share with you what i actually finish what i repurchase because you guys see what i repurchase every single month i feel like these videos are a true testament to what i continue to rebuy what i continue to love if like that shampoo that deodorant the the um hair mask the soap the scrub whatever all of those products like i've repurchased multiple times you guys have seen them so like those are my tried and true if you're looking to replace something in your routine and you see them pop up all the time give them a try see what you think um if you did love one of these and you found something better let me know i'm always down to try new products but there are certain things that i just always want in my routine but i also think it's fun because i talk about so many products it takes a while to use products for the most part but i will stop using a product and throw it in here if i absolutely hate it um if it's expired so on and so forth so i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video i love you guys so much and i'll see you all in my next video bye